All right, place that there, and let's get one more piece. Oh, of course, I only have three stone. All right, no worries, I'll just smelt one more piece, and I don't have any coal. Okay, I guess I'll just use a stick. And there we go, problem solved. This is the best time of the day. When these gates open up, this is when I get my chance to escape. After being stuck in the grid, I'm now in a new prison, one that I call the pit. Inside the pit, there's only one goal, and that's to get to the bottom. But here's the catch. The pit runs off of a fuel source, and if I jump down to the bottom at the wrong time, it's game over. And of course, that's just the bottom of the pit. To actually get to the bottom of the pit, you have to solve the puzzle first. Fortunately for me, this was the cobblestone puzzle. Out of all the puzzles, this is by far the easiest. All it is is a little parkour and you're at the bottom. After I got through it, I went over to the ledge and checked the fuel source. This time, it was a stick. Yeah, if it's a stick, don't go for it. Sticks are the fastest fuel. You'll never make it. See what was right. Within a second, the lava shot to the top. If I had jumped and went for the escape, I would have been a goner. Don't give up hope. One day, the infinite fuel source will show up. I just know it. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. The guy I'm stuck with has been here much longer than I have, and he always tells me the story of the infinite fuel source. He says he went into the pit one time when there was a fuel that lasted forever, but he could never get to the bottom because he was caught in a stack. Ooh, let's go. I'm just going to jack one of these villager furnaces. Oh, I don't have any coal. Oh, wait. No, I can just use a lava bucket, right? Doesn't that smell like so many items? I think it smells a hundred items, right? So it should be good for a stack of cobblestone. Every time he completed the puzzle, the pit would send him back to the start. And by the time he escaped for good, the infinite fuel source was gone. There we go. Finally getting some windows on this house. All right, let's see. Gotta smelt some more sand. And thank you. I have enough coal. That's a first. He keeps saying that one day it'll come back and we'll both be able to escape when it does. See what's an expert at prisons. He's been here much longer than I have and most of the prisons he gets through with ease. All right, let's see. Just a classic sand puzzle. Nothing I haven't handled before. Each day, we switch off who goes into the pit. Every time we get to the bottom, we let each other know the fuel source that's in the pit. But this day, this day was different. There's still time left. I think I can actually escape. Ah, uh, it's all good. We just gotta be patient. But then, see what jumped to the bottom. This is it. I I'm getting out of here. What are you doing? You said we would escape together with the infinite fuel. You're a fool. You actually believed that story? There's no such thing as an infinite fuel source. I made it up. What? Yeah, I think a window would look pretty good right there. All right, let me get some glass. Wait, how did all of it not smell? I thought it smelled nine items. All right, put that back in there and we should be good. I'll be the only one to have ever escaped the pit. And just like that, I was all alone in the pit. I was gonna have to find a way to escape myself. There were times I ran into puzzles I've never seen before. I need some food, I need some food. All right, what do I have in here? Are you serious? I only have one raw chicken? Bro, how do I have no food? Wait, can't you smell kelp and eat it? I think you can. All right, well, I'll just throw this into here, I guess. The kelp force was the first ever water puzzle I had to solve. I almost drowned trying to escape. When I got to the bottom, there was still time left to jump, but it didn't matter. The pit reset before I could jump. And then there were just some weird ones that I had to get through. Why are there so many chickens? Oh, I'm out of kelp. All right, I'll get it over with and just cook this piece of raw chicken. But then, a puzzle I've never experienced before spawned, and it changed the game. A wet sponge. Let's see. Wikipedia says I gotta put it in a furnace with a bucket at the bottom? And then I should get a dry sponge, right? Alright, seems like it's working. This puzzle was the most difficult one yet. And just when I was about to drown, I escaped with half a heart. But things changed when I went to check the fuel source. I saw something that I've never seen before. Instead of a stick or a piece of coal, the fuel source was a bucket of lava. I thought the pit was about to reset like it usually does, but the lava stayed, and I was still on the edge. Was this the infinite fuel source? I thought that was made up. I waited for hours for the lava to drop, but nothing happened until it finally moved. I waited an entire day, and soon enough, the platform was exposed. I knew this was my chance. I jumped down to the bottom. This was it. Now that I was on the platform, there was no turning back. I was gonna have to hope that these doors would open for me. If this worked, this would mean I escaped the pit for good. I ran over to the doors and to my surprise, they opened and I dashed through the hallway and I was officially out of the pit. Just like the time when I escaped the grid, I was back in another room. I escaped the grid. I escaped the pit. So what happens now? Let's see, it's two diamonds right here? Yeah, there we go. All right, now I can finally enchant some stuff. Let's go!